Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Web Dev. So up to now we have covered the core topics in the QJS Composition API, like watchers, computer properties, form input bindings, list rendering, how to list render, event handling, conditional rendering. These are all the things we have seen, class and style bindings like that. So now we let's jump to the new topic that is components. The components are the core part in the Vue.js, not only in the Vue.js, in Angular, in React, everywhere. So the components are the core part. So I am assuming that you know the basics of the component. Why? Because from the first onwards, we are trying to create a component and we are using it the component, right? So this SFC components, like single file components. In the first we have this, we have seen how to create a component and all those things. So now let's try to see in this video how we can register a component in how many different ways we can register a component let's try to see generally a view component or any component so if you want to use that component we need to register the component okay so that the view knows where it is actually located and how i need to implement according to its template so the component generally the view component we can register it generally in the two ways that is one is global and another is local so in two ways we can register a component first one is the global registration the global registration if you try to sue if you try to see up to now we are trying to register the component in the global way only so this is the global way so this one we can make these components available globally in the current view application using this app dot component so this app dot component method using this one so we can make the components available globally so now if you try to see here this component we can use it anywhere in the view application so that is the main thing <clears throat> so normally what we will try to do so here we will try to give the component name and we will give the, the component location so the component here so we are using this one and not only like this we can also give the chain so like this for example if i do i can do it like this so like this we can do like this also instead of mentioning it like this we can chain the components okay so like this chaining is also fine so we can also chain the components globally registered components what i have told you previously so we can use it in the template of any component within the application so we can use it in any template so right that is the reason we have used it in app.view and we can use these all things in internal also so that is the main thing this is so now the another way of thinking is the local registration okay so this local registration is the convenient way why because global registration has some few drawbacks so what are those what are those drawbacks is for example let's say that here we have registered these all components in the global right so these things have some drawbacks what is the drawback is global registration prevents the build systems from removing unused components so something we call it as a tree shaking so whenever we are building this one using webpack or anything so global registration if you try to register the components in the global if for example if uh, for example if you are not using this component globally okay not means we are not using this component in any application in a, in this application we are not using this one is so when while you are building so this will not remove this unused component so this is an unused component this will not be removed from the compiled js file so that it means so your code will be become bloated so your code will become your code base will become more so if you globally register a component but end up not using it any, anywhere in your app it is still included in the final bundle so in the final bundle file it will be still included so global registration makes dependency relationships less explicit in large application it makes difficult to locate a child component implementation from a parent component using it so now for example if you are trying to here if you are trying to mention like this so we cannot able to determine which is a parent component and which is a child component so this 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 affects the long term maintainability similarly using too many global variables so local registration scopes the availability of the registered component to the com current component only so it makes the dependency relationship more explicit and is also tree shaking friendly so normally if you try to see how we can register this one for example let's say that i am removing this app dot component counter okay i don't want to use it globally so i have i am removing it from this one so where i am generally using this one in the app dot view so here in the app dot view i am using this counter so now when we are using this counter in the app dot view this is a component and i can include this one here so here we can include import counter first before including this one let's see whether we are able to see the output or not if you try to see the output in the inspect element in the console and here if i try to refresh this page 
now you will be able to see a console that a counter so the, here they are you are able to see that cannot fail to resolve the component counter so i am unable to find the component counter it is saying <clears throat> what can i do here so this counter is using here right i am registering this one is globally uh, sorry locally import counter from so we can use it like this here in the components you will be having counter component right there is one counter not you that's it so now you import this one so whatever the name you are using so this is this will be used automatically so if you want you can also mention it with a capital letter not a problem okay we'll discuss about this one so what are the naming convention how we will be using in the component name declaration we'll use it and now if you try to see if i refresh this page now we are able to see the counter component without any problem we are able to see this one so like this is called as a component comp local registration of the component so now right now we are using the setup so that is the reason so there is no need to mention again so we just we can import it whatever the name you are using i can directly use it here now for example if you are using the setup so if you are not using the script and if you are using the setup means then what you need to do is so you need to mention here components and here you need to write the counter okay and next you will be having the so you need to do all the export default here export default and this is the export default and we will be having a setup okay and in this setup so i need to include these all the code into that one and we need to make it exposable so that is the thing you'll be having so you need to mention it here like this so just i am removing this one all so that is the thing you need to have so if you are using the setup option for each property in the components object the key will be registered the name of the component so here if you try to see here this is the property name this is a component name so now for example let's say that you you want to mention some other name so counter uh, counter component okay i have changed this one to counter component okay so we can use it now here this this name will change here so now if you try to see here in the output if you see the output here if i refresh this page and here you'll be able to see that counter comp counter i am unable to find the component counter why because we are calling with the name counter here not the counter component now what i can do here directly i can replace with this the counter component so not a problem okay now if you try to see here the output then it will work without any problem so it is working without any problem so like this you'll be having the naming conventions you need to be very careful so whatever the name you are trying to use it here like this we can use it so now the vue.js when you are trying to use it in the sfc compile templates so the component name casing so you need to use it so normally we will be using pascal game pascal case name so these are valid javascript identifiers it makes it easier to import and register components in the javascript so now so here we are using the pascal case for example let's say that when you are using in html or anything where it is not supported means dom template thing so you can also name it like this counter hyphen component you can make mention it like this so this is also a valid one okay kebab case so here you need to say it is a kebab case so co counter hyphen component like this also it's a valid one so note that so wherever the capital c is there so there you need to convert it as smaller and also you need to keep an hyphen so this is also a valid one now if you try to see the output so this one is also valid without any problem you will be able to see the output so this is this is the recommendations which i would uh, try to tell you so so whenever you are trying to use here the counter component so whenever this pascal case is not supported in the html templates or dom template thing so now we you can use it like this or otherwise in the view sfe template so this one so ide and the view compiler can able to understand easily and you can use this counter component so generally we will be using this name only why because so that it is very easy for us to identify that this is a view js component so that is the reason we will be using more generally like this so i am telling you the other way also so you can also use a kebab case but the rich, but the thing you need to keep it in mind is when you are trying to convert in kebab case the middle thing which is the capital letter you are having you need to convert it into the small letter and you need to keep a hyphen before that small letter so that is the thing you need to understand so these are the different ways how we can register the component in the vue js so local registration and the global registration the drawback the main drawback in registering the components in the global means so the tree shaking will not be possible why because if you are if you are registering the component and you are not using that component in that view application means so in the final bundle it will not be removed so it will be available in the final bundle also whereas in the local registration so it will be available for the tree shaking tree shaking means nothing 
so when you shake the tree all the dead leaves and all the things will fall away right in the same scenario so think of this view application as a tree when you are shaking the tree all the unused components whatever the components you are not using in the application those all the things will be removed so those all the things will not be used will not be compiled in the final bundle so that is the thing hope you understood about this component registration thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you